How do we like? <laughs> should we post it? Oh, are these? Uh-huh. This is our viewers. Yeah. Should, should we like? No, I think we're fine. Okay. Right. I don't know. Maybe we'll just like. I'll send it to Ira. <laughs> oh God. We have a viewer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, my phone. Okay. Oh, look, my phone does this weird thing. You've dropped it one too many times. (laughs) Wait, who's the one viewer? I don't think you can, like, see it. It's probably Ira. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no, look. Oh, hi. Hi, is it Nadine? Maybe that's, I hope that's right. Hi, Ira. <laughs> oh, hello, Ira. Hello, gays. It's me. I'm literally. I love the gays. I took this. I took that photo to send to you, Ira. So not needed anymore. I've never done a YouTube live. I'm kind of nervous. Uh. Nice weather we're having in LA. LA's weather sucks right now. I'm wearing a ski Horrible. jacket. Katie's got a ski <laughs> jacket on. <clears throat> it's really cold in LA, actually. And the rent is way too high here for it to be cold. What? That's like why Wait. people live in LA. Yeah, yeah, okay. Is the warm weather. So, and like, as you know, the rent is out of control. It is out of control. And so if you lose the weather, what do you have left? <laughs> I mean. Not a lot. Oh my God, I'm so glad you love Pillbox. Moving to Arizona. It's 120 there. So no. Do you guys like my pride nails? Do you want to do like an up close? Yeah. These are my pride nails. They're all different pride flags. This do you is, want to go through the flags? I, okay, here I we do. go. This is the non-binary flag. This is the trans flag. This is the all-inclusive pride flag. This is the pansexual flag. And this is the bisexual flag. There you go. Yeah. There will be another chance. Oh my gosh, wait, your cover of Disappear. I want to see it. I want to see it too. If you if you post it somewhere and, and tag me, hopefully I'll be able to see it. Yeah, I want to see it too. Mm, we got our teeth cleaned yesterday. We did get our teeth cleaned. (laughs) I also have been wearing glasses for like the last week because, I don't know, the contacts not working anymore. Ira, don't even get me started. On the dentist. The the dentist dentist. is a terrible place. Don't even get me started. But at least we're we're blessed enough to have a dentist, you know? I have to have, like, headphones in the whole time I'm at the dentist because, like, the sounds, I, like, I can't do it. The dentist is not the greatest place in the world. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. Oh, my God. Don't be embarrassed to wear glasses. I love glasses. And wear them, I mean, probably every day, actually. I love when they wear glasses. I think it's so cute. I love glasses. Plus, they're so much better for your eyes than contacts. (laughs) The next album. Yeah, I did start my next album. When did you talk about it? I have no idea when I spoke about it, but someone knows. So I I don't know. I said something about it somewhere. I can't. I literally can't. That's tough. That's super tough. Go Yankees. Okay. Sorry, Yankees? 
So, I don't know. I'm I'm not really a baseball person. I, I like basketball, which the NBA season is over. That's it. Go Nugs. Go Nugs. It's cool. They won their first ever championship as a franchise, which is really sick. But I saw this TikTok today about the Joker, Jokic. Jokovic, yeah. Jokovic, yeah. And he was like, I, it was like a compilation of all the, like, what, like the press they have to do afterwards. Mm-hmm. And like, <laughs> he was like, basketball is not important to me. Like, I have a family and like, He's like the best player in the NBA too. I know. And they were like, one of the questions was like, how does it feel knowing that you're the fourth person under Kobe, Jordan, and LeBron to like do like this thing? And he was like, I'm only the fourth person to ever do that. <laughs> I mean, it's really cool to be super humble. He, I mean, he's like, he said he hates basketball. Did he verbatim say yes. he hates basketball? Yes, he said. He said anyone who says that they don't hate their job is lying. Well, at least I hate mine. That's what he said. Okay, now that I don't think is such a cool thing to say. <laughs> I think that he's one of the best players in the NBA, and there's a lot of people who would love to be in that position. So I don't know if hating your job when you're one of the top paid NBA players is really I don't hate my job feeling good are you one of the <laughs> best players in the NBA though no I don't know sing <laughs> you have to come see a show for that yeah you're not warmed up this webcam is shockingly good i know it looks uh, like almost a zoom or something most times live is like any live like video like this is blurry or like tiktok live or instagram live i feel like they always have service problems like they like break up and stuff but no even like on my like computer if i like do like zooms and stuff it's like so broken up like it's like this is a great you probably just take better care of your computer. I do try to take really good care of my stuff, yeah. <sighs> oh, my God. Someone's four-year-old nephew loves 93 Days. I also love 93 Days. I saw a really funny video the other day. A good friend of mine, she has a daughter who's five years old and is obsessed with the song Nothing to Me. And for those of you who have heard Nothing to Me, it is pretty explicit. Um, and her five-year-old is just absolutely obsessed with it. And it's just like, it's so funny. I feel like I, I created a monster a little bit. It's such a good song. It is a great song. I love that song. That's the first song I ever watched you write. Oh yeah. There you go. Thank you for the congratulations on the engagement. We're very excited about it. We are very excited about it. How to lock this one down. <laughs> Three days ago on your YouTube community post, you said you started your next album. <laughs> oh. Oops. Oops. What are you going to do? I'm actually like halfway done with it, but, you know, who's counting? You're never done with anything. You're always writing. I mean... I mean, I love to create. That's like my... It's nonstop. That's just like my thing. So once I finish one project, I'm ready to just move right along. Yeah. If, if you think about it, you are halfway done, as you just said, with mm -hmm. your next album before... The album that just came out was even done. And that was also the case with Black Box bleeding into Pill Pillbox bleeding into Black Box. It's just. Yeah, usually when one album is rolling out, I'm writing the next one. You're working on it. 
it's long. Is there going to be physical copies of Pillbox? I think so. I think there there is. You know what? I think my manager is is maybe on this this live stream right now. I, I we do have vinyls that I think are gonna be coming out. Maybe. Maybe. Every time I pick my nephew up, he asks me to play Grace. That's so cute. That is so cute. Look, there's Ira. We have vinyl. Perfect. Photogenic was my first favorite song of yours. That's an old song. Wow, I don't You've even been know around that song. a minute. Katie doesn't even know, know that song. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You've been around a second. Some of the archives, I, I actually, they should probably do a better job of knowing. I mean, like too many peon, I know. Yeah. No. Why did oh. you not want Are You Happy on the album and how did Katie get you to keep? Okay, so I wrote Are You Happy about probably like three years ago. Um, and it was just a song that like I you know, as a songwriter, I would say that every 10 songs I write, maybe one of them gets released. Maybe. Um, so I just think that like, you know, it's, it's hard as a songwriter to kind of like, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> it's, it's, it's hitting me in the face. It's, it's, uh, it's hard as a songwriter to kind of like figure out what you want to put out, what you really like, what you don't like. And so um, for me, Are You Happy was just one of those songs that I, I think I got really frustrated um, during kind of the writing and production process. So I was like, no, this is terrible. I'm putting it in the garbage can. And then I'd been thinking about it and I played it one day when Katie and I were on a plane. And I was like, I think you should listen to this. And she was like, what's wrong with you that this is in the trash? Like, this is a phenomenal song. Like, da, 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 da. And so I think it, it was helpful to hear someone else really love it and have like such a strong opinion on it because I was struggling to see um, the song for like all that is worth. I still have a strong opinion about Are You Happy? I, I really like Are You Happy Now. Um, it sounds pretty different, I think, from when I first wrote it. So, um, you yeah, know. Has the same bones. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, like, are you at a weird angle, or is my head so big? Like I'm, my I'm head like looks I'm like so large down. right now. I'm scared. No. Okay. It looks a little. <laughs> you know what? When I you know I have a pee head. Um. Katie and my mom both have like super like small heads. Both of them. Like I don't. <laughs> I don't know why. I also th sorry. I'm like still thinking about the thing. I also think though that like. I've learned a lot about music obviously since, we, since we've been together but like I think are you happy like it had a it had a spot for pillbox you know what I mean like I agree it, it was yeah. right for pillbox for sure it was definitely like I don't think it would have actually maybe it, it might have worked are thanking you because they love are you happy hey guys guys <laughs> I'm just funny. saying okay what's my favorite song on pillbox gosh I don't know um Maybe nothing to me. I just Why? Think it's, it's not what you're going to say. I mean, I have a lot that I, 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 I don't, I hate answering the question of like, what's your favorite song? And like, everyone always asks that because duh, of course you're wondering, but it's like, it's like picking children for me. But I think my all around favorite song is probably nothing to me just because it's really fun. But I think the most well, no, there's two super meaningful songs on the album that, like, I adore, and that would be Disappear in Colors and Shapes. So, like, I don't, you know, I don't know. But I really like all of them. Who's our favorite artist? Grace Costa. Yeah, right. <laughs> the answer is, like, Lana Del Rey, Mac Miller, Drake. 
that's number. that's yeah that's it actually yeah those are for sure my top two you, you your ears are like you never freaking know you, you got a lot you you like gaga and taylor swift and you also like three days grace so it's like you know i yeah i i <laughs> i listen to like yeah lady gaga and taylor swift and then i also listen to like heavy metal and like rock bands avril lavigne you've been super into it again recently yeah i i loved Av avril lavigne when i was a kid and then i don't know what happened and then more recently i've just been into it again the cloud is your favorite on the album it's a good one that's one of scott's favorites scott my producer who did like 12 of the 13 songs with me on pillbox <laughs> um the cloud is is one of his favorites. I, if I remember correctly, you wrote that like last minute, right? Like it, like right. You were like trying to finalize it. It know, was like, definitely one of the later ones. Yeah. It was not. I Which think is the bonkers, first. Because it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what's everyone's favorite song off the box? I want to see the. Uh, common denominator here because obviously we've listened to that album because working on production and stuff and like listening yeah. to different cuts so many times but it's interesting to see what people who it's fresh for them you know yeah wow everybody's friend Colors and shapes. Jupiter from Black Box is my favorite from, from that album. Jupiter is everybody's favorite, okay? Because it's a great song. A runner-up, though, on Black Box for me is, is Creature. Um, I just, I don't know, like a person. We got different, different answers in here. Red... Black box vibes. Pill, I mean, well, pillbox is like incredible. I have like so many favorite from pillbox, but on black box, like I, there's no way I could pick like disappear. Nothing to me. I mean, listen, there's a song for everybody. I'd be I'd be hey. nervous actually if everyone was saying the same thing. To be honest, old ways pillbox. I'm I'm glad to see that the answers are all like different because I think that I try to write music where like everyone's going to be able to find their favorite song. Um, yeah. We're going to hang out a few more minutes because I have a to-do list for the rest of today that is unlike anything you've ever seen. <laughs> It's so long. Back in forever and a day ago, we listened to Pillbox and ranked it oh. before it had gone through any type of right production or anything. Mm -hmm. And my top three from that was "Are You Happy," "Colors and Shapes," and "Disappear." And I would think I would say that that might still stand. Yeah. Actually, nothing to me is like. really up there let's see your song red helped me come out to my mom oh that's great i love red it's one of my favorites i'm working on a pop character with everybody's friend outfit i loved that outfit that was such a good one yeah it was fun laura my stylist like killed it on pillbox she just was so good Disappear came from my neck. <laughs> Disappear is a sad song. It's a great song, but it's a sad song. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm done. I'm done. I thought I was going to be able to swing it the other way. There's so much blue going on right now. Your phone case, the pen, your cup, my cup. My shirt. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. It's funny. We like blue around here. 
Actually, that's, I mean, I like blue. I don't know how much you like blue. The flower, you dreamy. Oh my god, there's like so much blue. 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 I think we're gonna pop off here because I, like I said, I've got a to-do list from hell that I have to work with. What's the painting behind me? That's a joke. I think it's a number. We're not sure. <laughs> maybe, maybe we, someone wants to call. No, it. we've tried. Remember, we tried to call. Oh, it we did try to call it, it because we thought it nowhere. was a number, but um, yeah, it you know. I love being right here too. Oh my God, I'm never going back to long hair. Like having short hair, showering for the longest time was like <laughs> such, I mean, it was just an endeavor. And now I can just like it pop in iconic. and out and it's it's phenomenal. I, having short hair is a blessing. Um, what would be my advice for someone trying to get into music? Oh boy, um, music, the industry is really hard. And I will never sugarcoat that for anybody. I think the industry is tough. I think even for the best, best, best artists, it's really hard. Um, what's my advice? Um, I think music is something that you absolutely have to do because you just live and breathe it and you love it more than anything because the industry itself, um, I think, can be really hard sometimes in terms of just like, bringing you down a little bit and so yeah. i think you just have to really really love it and and want to pursue it and also have something to say and i feel like the easiest way to kind of get noticed is still social media um and just posting things and you know i also think that you know writing writing songs or writing for other artists is also a really great way to get started All right, guys, I think we're going to say goodbye, but thank you all for joining, and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>